How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6. Today I'm bringing you a little video on how to do some plastic welding. If you take a look here, this is my wife's hair dryer. You can see how this uh, plastic here is a square notch that this piece locks into. And if we flip this over, that square notch is broken on this side. Now I've already tried to fix this by using a little PVC cement, gluing it up, and it broke. So I tried to glue it again and it broke again. So I don't know if it has something to do with the heat of the dryer or what, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weld this. So I'll show you how to do this repair. So the first thing you need to do is you need to clean the edges that you're gonna be welding. So that plastic needs to be cleaned. To clean it, I'm just gonna use a little gum cutter and we'll spray that on a rag. Put a little bit on a rag and then uh, we're going to carefully clean the areas that will be welded together. So we're going to do this end cap and we're also going to clean the dryer itself up on that area that will be welded. And we want to give it some time to dry because this stuff is pretty flammable. So we're just cleaning it up a little bit getting any dirt or oil off that plastic looks good we'll let it dry alright now that our pieces are cleaned we're just going to assemble them the way they need to go together and then I'm going to clamp it in our vise here's a quick look of how I have it set up in the vise so for today's uh, welding project we're going to be using this uh, soldering needle so that's all you really need is a soldering needle and uh, this one happens to have variable heat adjustment and I think we're about ready to weld this thing together so just like doing any welding the first thing that you want to do is actually tack it together so it doesn't move so we're just going to hold it in place and we're going to take our soldering needle and we're just going to hold right on the joint just enough until it melts except we don't have enough heat so let me get this thing a little hotter well hopefully now we're up to heat so I'm just going to take that soldering needle and we're basically going to tack it together one weld there and we're going to put one a little bit below it as well and that should hold that front cap on the hair dryer I'm going to flip it over and we'll do two tack welds on the other side. Put one here. Doesn't take much. And one down here. And we'll let that those tack welds set up. The next step, we're going to make a valley all around right where this crack is. So you're just going to take your soldering needle and you're going to lightly dig into the plastic just cutting a groove there's already a groove here so it's not too hard for me to follow and <clears throat> once you have that groove you're going to take the surrounding plastic and push it into the groove so I'm going to start on this side and we're just going to slide the plastic into the groove and this is a nice way to fill in your weld to make it strong and you're gonna have to do this from both sides of the weld if you want it to be strong so now I'm pulling back on this top edge and I'm basically bringing plastic into that valley
So we're on the other side and we're going to start out just by digging a valley once again. And my soldering needle is pretty hot. So I think what I'll do is just turn down the heat a little bit. The hotter it is, the faster you can weld your pieces together. But you also have to be careful that you don't push right through. Now we're bringing plastic from each side of the groove into the groove or the valley. And I'm doing that left handed because I'm sort of working on an odd angle because of the camera. If you're not familiar with me or my videos, I'm Double Wide Six and I've just been putting together a series of repair videos. Um, all kinds of repairs, anything, anything I'm working on I'll put into video format. And uh, I recommend that you check out my uh, uh, page there, my channel I guess they call it on YouTube. And see if you can find any videos that interest you. I have some plumbing, some shed building, I just made a concrete video. And uh, some car stuff, small engine stuff. Just basic, simple repair videos. Alright, I have one more spot to get underneath. So we'll get that. So here's the bottom part. And we're just going to start out by making a valley. And I happen to be using kind of like a, a soldering iron that sort of has like a flathead screwdriver tip. That's what I prefer to use. You can also use a needle tip if you want. But I find this tip just to work a little bit faster. I think it gets a little hotter than the needle. And this type of welding is pretty easy. It gets very strong. They do make some hot air welders, but that once again is like a skill that actually requires some talent. This particular type of welding, just melting together the plastic, doesn't really require that much of a talent to do. So you can see I can do it. And I'm actually doing it left handed here. All right. So everything's welded together. Things look nice, but there's a little buildup of plastic. So we're just going to clean that up next. Just to give you an idea of the strength of the weld, I can twist this, hit this, pull on this. It's not going to fall off. Even my wife won't be able to break this. However, it is a little bit rough. Okay, you can see like the texture on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work that down and sand it and then we're going to buff it on my plastic buffer. And that should take care of this repair. So we're just going to lightly hit it with some sandpaper and sort of fine tune it. One real nice thing about working with plastic is when you use the plastic that's there and not any filler, um, it's always going to match in color. So as you can see, this white matches exact with the original plastic. So here's the buffing station. You just want to work it ever so lightly over here at the buffing station. All you're trying to do is, you know, lightly buff it. Just work it like this. And that's all you have to do. I've already done the other side. So we're just cleaning it up. It's smooth, but it leaves some marks. So the next step is going to be to correct that. So now that we're lightly sanded, we're going to be using this plastic enamel. It's just a paint that sticks to plastic. We're just going to clean up where it's discolored a little bit just to um, help make it look good. So here's a look at the hair dryer after I touched up a little bit with the paint. It's not 100% perfect, but 
I'm not too worried about it as long as it's functional. So I painted it, I just have it hanging up and there's a little bit of dirt from my greasy towels on there. But it's another repair and I'm double wide six and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned a thing or two and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. I have videos coming out every week. Have a good one. See ya.